people are going to think, oh, well, another wedding book. But there's nothing about this book that is like old wedding books. Not what people wear, not the way they're choosing to celebrate. Most of all, not what it says about the culture. When society moves and the rituals haven't caught up, that it's the rituals that have to change. Every place I turned, every book I looked at, every magazine I opened said something like, if your father's not alive, perhaps an older brother would give you away. I remember looking at that line and thinking, give me away. <laughs> there are growing numbers of young people not being given away into marriage by their parents. They're making these decisions as educated adults. You're proud of what you are, and you like what you are. The idea of dressing up like somebody else for a day doesn't make any sense. Where do I break the rule? Where do I keep the rule? Where do I rewrite the rule? Where does a wedding begin and something else stop? So if you're going to break the rules, does that mean no rules? Because it, I found it doesn't. We started with the introduction, which is the story of how this book came to be, how Frank and I came to craft a ceremony. The whole arrangement of how we wanted the wedding was kind of reworking of all the things we felt uncomfortable about at other people's weddings. We didn't want to turn our backs to our families. So we stood on the porch and they stood in front of us and the Justice of the Peace stood with his back to them. Think of yourself as in the same show as your guests, but you're the star and they're the chorus. I set out to interview people and interviewed hundreds and hundreds of couples. Everyone thinks they're making individualistic choices. And when you see enough of them, you realize these aren't individual choices. This is a trend. We did talk to two particular couples in the book, and both brides had resisted marrying at all because they couldn't figure out how to do it. This is a $70 billion industry, larger than the sale of all new cars any given year. If you want to wear a great puffy white dress and walk down the aisle on the arm of your father, be my guest. There are plenty of books out there that will help you and support you and show you the way. This is a book for the rest of us. Now people can sort of look through this and say, oh, this, not this, that, not that, and not find themselves thinking, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I know. It. We're not talking about typical first-time, 20-year-old brides and grooms. As a marketer, my suspicion is that we are not looking as everyone has suggested to me, at an interesting tip of an iceberg, I think we're looking at the berg. Diane Meyer Delaney, The New American Wedding.